In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at subtitles, how you can do two things in opposite directions. First of all, how you can take audio that you have in an audio track that's voice and turn the words of that audio into subtitles that will appear on the screen visually while the person is talking. Then we're going to show you the opposite. If you have subtitles on the screen but you have no audio, how can you take those subtitles and convert them into audio using PowerDirector 365. So we're going to show you both operations in subtitles going in either direction. Let's start off by looking at taking voice narration and turning that into subtitles automatically. I have on this track some narration I've done and we'll play a few seconds of it and you'll begin to hear what we're working with. The autumn picture of the bridge sets the scene. It was in the fall of 2013 that the couple met by chance at this very spot. Okay, so we have some narration. We'd like to reinforce that with subtitles. How do we do that? In order to do that, I simply go to the subtitle option at the very top and click on the icon. And we're going to go AI speech to text. Let's click on that. And then it wants the source of the audio here in this particular project. It's on track number two. So I'm just going to specify that. And I want my language to be English. And it looks good. We can uh, transcribe a selected range. I'm going to transcribe all of it. And I click on the Create button below. Then it will analyze my audio clip and attempt to create subtitles that will be timed in perfect with the audio. Okay, and you notice now I have four different subtitles and each of them reflects the narration. Now, if I want to change the formatting of it, I only have to change one and I can apply to it all. So I'm going to highlight the top one, click on the T, which is my formatting controls. I don't want a border. I would rather have a shadow. And let's make the text bold. Click on OK. And there is my text. So let's see what it looks like and sounds like when we have these subtitles that are now generated from the voice narration. The autumn picture of the bridge sets the scene. It was in the fall of 2013 that the couple met by chance at this very spot. It was early afternoon. Now one thing I did not do is I did not apply that to every single subtitle. So I'm going to go back where I was before, click on the T again, and click Apply to All. And now each one is the same. That's as easy as it is to take a narration track and turn it into subtitles. What if you want to do the opposite? What if you have no narration, but you have subtitles and you want to have an audio track that echoes the text on the screen? You can do that as well. Let me take this and we're going to delete this for now. And we're going to use a new tool available for 365 subscribers. In order to do that, I need to get into my subtitle room. I'm going to click on subtitles at the top. And then I need to highlight the ones I want to use. The minute I highlight them, and you can highlight individual ones simply by clicking on it and then holding the control key down and clicking on others. And that will allow you to pick them one by one. Normally we would pick all of them. That gives me the number that I can turn text into speech. Then, And when they're highlighted, you're going to see this box appear at the bottom. I click on the box and that takes me to my AI tool. Here I'm getting a message that the server's busy. I'm just going to click on OK because we're not going to go through the whole process. We'll go through part of it. So it measures the number of characters and then it measures the number of credits you will need. Now right now I don't have enough credits for this particular option, but we won't worry about that. You can choose between different languages. We'll click down here. You can have either U.S. or British English, Chinese, Japanese, French, German, Korean, Spanish, Italian, or Portuguese currently. You can filter the list by gender. If I only want females, I'll click here, and it will give me all the females, and the, the list is smaller. If I want all the males, I can click this way and we'll get the male voices. I can sort by speaking style, default, angry, cheerful, fearful, sad, serious, or friendly. Let's tick friendly 
and those are the male friendly. And then I can use the case, which are better in a podcast or audiobook or product demo. Let's just use entertainment here. Now, none of those fit all those filters. So I'm going to clear them and we'll just go to some in, and let you hear the difference. Let's take a cheerful Jenny and click on it and listen. It's almost the weekend. Let's hit the bar after work today. Okay, that gives you an idea of the, the timber and the tonal of that particular person. Let's try the sad one. I don't get it. She just stopped talking to me. I wonder if I did something wrong. All right, let's try a male option here. Let's take uh, Tony. Let's take Tony angry. I don't know why you keep bringing this issue up again and again. Okay, let's try a sad one. I don't get it. She just stopped talking to me. I wonder if I did something wrong. Okay, so you, you pick the one that you want and the tone that you want. Defaults usually work pretty good. Let's take just the default one here. I'm heading to the supermarket to get groceries later. Let me know if you need anything. Now you can also slightly speed it up or make it faster or change the pitch higher or lower. I encourage you to, to move these controls just a little bit because what that will do is that will create a control when it goes onto the track that you can easily modify. So I'm just going to move them a little bit. And then when you're all ready to go, you click on generate. And now it says I don't have enough credits to do this. How do I how do I fix that if I would just want to do part of it? I'm going to cancel out of that and we'll change what we highlighted. And let's say let's do this this many characters. I go back to te text to speech. And then I pick my person again. Let's go back to our individual I had before, Roger, I believe. I'm heading to the supermarket to get groceries later. Let me know if you need anything. Now it measures the characters. I have 77. And I'm going to just tweak these a little bit. Then I click on Generate. And then it will want to know if I want to do voice to speech. And then I click on the OK button and it will attempt to generate that. So we'll close out of that. Now I'm going to show you a bit of a clip that I made that is actually using some of these that I recorded earlier using this tool. In the clip you're about to see in here, I took a male voice for the first three subtitles that we used. And then I took a female voice and used that on another one. So you get actual examples of what you get when you go to Cyberlink. You'll also notice some music. I put music on a music track and use audio docking to lower it whenever they were speaking. This is an example of how to create a file. I am using the simple Windows text editor to create this file for the subtitle line. Let's see what happens when I attempt to import the file. Hopefully the results will be good. And that's basically what you do in order to get subtitle text professionally spoken and an audio track in your production.